two, one, go. Wild Hats already making their way over to the cargo ship very quickly for the Blue Lines. Looks like they are trying to place a hatch panel onto the ship. Red Alliance, shoulder to shoulder over in their area of the field. They break free now into the teleoperated period. Blue Alliance with a very early lead. Here, Gremlins being a bit of a defensive Gremlin of the Red Alliance. Trying to block 66-62 from placing a hatch panel, and they do so successfully. Falls out of the grip of Falcon X. 74-19 with Cargo in their mechanism. Launches it out effortlessly onto the far side of the field. A little over a minute and a half remaining in the match. Blue Alliance in the lead still. The all wood robot Woody of Team 7686 now at the half zone of the Red Alliance. Their teammates are focusing on scoring into the cargo and they're coming over to assist them in that goal. Falcon X and their robot Obi-Wan is the Blue Alliance's defensive hope. They are bumper to bumper against 3045 and 5700. Very excellent zone defense being played by that drive team. Seems to be helping out the blue lines very well. 42 to 37 with 45, 47 seconds left to go, excuse me. Wild Hats now turning their attention to the blue lines rocket. As those three teams had already filled up their cargo ship in the middle of the field. 10 point difference in favor of blue as we now enter the end game period. Red Alliance doing their best to catch back up. Cut down that score difference. Akabots 7686 looking to score a cargo into the cargo ship. Less than five seconds left to go. They'll hop onto the HAB platform. All six robots look to be off the carpet and ready for launch. Very exciting. Our second tie of the event, 63 all. Both alliances will gain one rank point for the tie. It seems they both did excellent job scoring in the cargo.